Hey guys. Hey guys. We are here in the Keys. Yeah. <laughs> We're staying at Jolly Roger RV Park. It is... Um, it's on Grassy Key, about halfway down. Yeah, near Marathon, but at the very northern end, I guess, of Marathon. It is beautiful. The weather's going to be perfect. Although we might get some rain a little bit later in the week. Yeah, we've never been down this far, so we're definitely excited. My folks are going to be visiting us just for one day on their way out on a cruise. <laughs> They're going to fly into Fort Lauderdale and drive down here and hang out with us for a day. Yep, that's going to be awesome. Brad's got some vacation time to, to use up, so that's going to be an extra bonus of being here. Yeah. Stay tuned for all the fun. Okay, so we were gonna go to lunch at this Grassy Key outpost. Unfortunately, it's closed, uh, seemingly due to damage from the hurricane, which was only a couple months ago. Yeah. So we'll go somewhere else. Yeah. I think Jolly Roger is the name for the pirate flag. Is oh, that right? I don't know. I guess we'll have to look that we'll up. We'll have to look that up. I guess so. mediocre about it really? but no it is good it's very um sweet very yeah. citrusy i like it better than the florida ipa we've been drinking in marco channel marker yep channel marker ipa it's good it is good made right here in the keys this is the mile high nachos uh aptly named and we're trying out these conch fritters never had never had that before Here we go. Yeah, um, it's just like a crab cake. Oh, no way. Um, the conch is very um, firm, very chewy. Kind of like uh, clams, I would, I would compare it to clams, I think. like a line a block long for the photo op. We just sort of got one with other people in it. Oh, there's that thing I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Got one with other people in it and... And that's fine.
Does he in back? Just walked up. You're just in time. I'll put it in a nutshell. I swallowed a big sword. <laughs> <laughs> and you give me money. <laughs> That's fair, right? Yeah. That's the audience on the one go. Here we go, guys. It was probably right by the buoy. We missed it. That water is so turquoise. We're gonna go see some sea turtles. I'm really excited. Me too. Turtle Hospital. Hanson Bowie. She weighs a little over 300 pounds. Um, now, as you can see, she's got a little buoyancy issue going on here. Um, when she came in, she had an infection in her intestines. So uh, we were hoping that that was the only thing causing her to float was this infection. But you can see by this kind of damage and misshapen shell that at some point she's been hit by a boat. Um, and this infection has uh, cleared up and she is still left floating. And so unfortunately we do believe that Hansen has that bubble butt uh, syndrome. Uh, but the ones you see here without the bubble butt, they're all releasable. Uh, we treated them for that fibropapilloma virus. We got them tumor free. front flippers. Now this makes her a non-releasable sea turtle. They can't survive in the wild without front flippers. But again, this, this ability to adapt, you know, typically the back flippers are only used for steering, but without her fronts, Kevin's learned to kind of move her back flippers differently and use them to help push her through the water.
What's uh, what you got going on on your lip there? You got something on your lip? Oh, a little dirt. I don't know. It'll wash right off, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs>